I've always been inspired by architecture and I've seen it as being a way in which the sculptural and the functional can coexist the way that pragmatism and poetry can coexist. For instance, a project that I began called Parasite that are these inflatable shelters that I design every winter for homeless people. And they attach to the ventilation on buildings and inflates and heats these double membrane structures. So I've always been interested in design. My mother's family is from Baghdad, Iraq. My father's family is from Brooklyn, New York. It was during the lead up to the Gulf War that I started to understand where we were from and what was at risk. When those first images of the war started to show themselves on TV, my mother was very aware that this was the first real-time experience we were having with this place called Iraq, and she saw that it was reduced down to these pieces of architecture that were being blown up, you know, under the cover of CNN and the green-tinted night vision. That served really as a foundational moment in what it was that I would end up doing with my work investigating the dehumanization that's happened as a result of the colonial presence in places like the Middle East. Thank you for coming, Michael. You can see it's been a dream for me. These are photographs of the Iraq Museum in April 2003, after the looting in the wake of the US-led invasion. The looting of the Iraq Museum, when I saw that the outrage around lost objects didn't necessarily translate into an outrage for lost lives, I started to think about what would happen if all of those artifacts came back, but they came back as ghosts that would haunt us. And so I really wanted these objects to not only mark what was there before in terms of their aura, in terms of their presence, but to also come back really different using the detritus of Iraqi cultural heritage that one finds in supermarkets and in the rubbish bins of restaurants, you know, to kind of take that as another form of archaeology and to use that kind of impoverished material to make this thing that can never ever be replaced. So. I decided to propose a reappearance of the ghost of the Lamassu in Trafalgar Square. The reason for that was that it was destroyed by ISIS in 2015. I see this as a ghost of the original, as a placeholder for those human lives that cannot be reconstructed, that are still searching for sanctuary. What I try to do with these works is to do something that is an enlistment of something that Foucault talks about. Fearless listening to create fearless speaking. I think that I would like for my audience to look fearlessly and to see things that maybe they wanted to look away from and to then speak fearlessly afterwards. And to think fearlessly. <laughs>